Hi, I'm Roger Montgomery and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Well, it's official. Cash rates now no longer cover the cost of living. The longer you remain with cash deposited in a bank account or a term deposit, the more purchasing power you have lost. The implications are significant. And while we can pontificate about why interest rates, the official cash rate in particular set by the Reserve Bank of Australia, is at levels that would normally accord with a recession when we don't have a recession, what I'd prefer to do is talk to you about the implications. You see, when interest rates are at normal levels, levels that cover the cost of living, investors can make rational choices about investing in other assets. For example, in the stock market, an appropriate risk premium is put on stocks to compensate for the real risk of investing in businesses and the real risk of investing in the stock market. But when rates are really, really low, as they are today, the official cash rate is at 2.5%, then the reality is this mechanism of pricing risk no longer works. As a result, investors pour money into stocks at prices that they would otherwise not do. Now, even when interest rates are priced, uh, priced appropriately, the risks associated with investing in the stock market are treated rationally, but even then people lose money in stock market crashes. What happens, what kind of a stock market crash will we have, and what kind of pain will be suffered when these normal pricing, risk pricing mechanisms are no longer working? Take a look at property prices. Property prices have risen at rates well above income rates. They've also been priced inappropriately. So while cash rates literally burn a hole in the pockets of baby boomers on the cusp of their retirement, I fear that the mispricing of risk that's being afforded by interest rates that are at recessionary levels when no recession exists is going to fuel an asset bubble that will cause much, much more pain to many more investors. Now, I can see this like a slow moving train wreck and we've got the time and the cash aside to move out of the way, but I fear many investors won't be so lucky. We look forward to seeing you again next week and in the meantime, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.